If you want to use excluding buttons, you must have two or more category buttons which are in manual mode. This example will highlight the tool clearly. We have three category buttons to show when we are in possession, when nobody is in possession and when the opposition is in possession. After clicking and drag to select them all, we go to the behavior tab in the button properties window and choose these to all be in manual mode. Because we now have at least two category buttons in manual mode, we will see a tab called exclusions appear. After selecting each button, we then click on the exclusions tab and choose which buttons this will become exclusive to. In this example, we are going to make all of the buttons exclusive to each other. This option will mean that only one of the buttons could be on at once. So let's see this in action to help further understanding. I click the button Possession Own when my team has the ball. The button will start to flash because it is in manual mode. This category will now be recording as long as the button is flashing. When I click Possession Op, this button will now start flashing instead and you can see that it has automatically turned the Possession Own button off. This is the most accurate and efficient way to record possession clips and many other actions you want to analyse.